Hey welcome, to another After Effects tutorial. Let's see what we are going to create today. Open After Effects, start with new project. Create new composition. Keep default settings, and duration to 8 seconds, and hit OK. Now, right click and create new solid layer. And select color. Now import this image. And place it below this layer. Now let's disable its visual. Now, go to effects and presets, and search for texturize and drag it to this solid layer. Now set texture layer to this paper layer. Also set texture placement to stretch texture to fit. And change value of texture contrast to 0.5%. Now, import your logo. And drag it to the timeline. Also right click and pre-compose it. Also set it to move all attributes and hit OK. Let's resize it. Now right click and create new text layer. Type your text. And align it to center. Cool. Now, let's rename this composition layer to logo 1. Right click and create new solid layer and rename it to solid 1 now, set its track mat to alpha mat now go to effects and presets and search for fill and drag it to this logo 1 layer also let's turn off this effect for now again, search for minimax and drag it to this logo 1 layer. Set its operation to minimum. Radius to 1. And channel to alpha and color. Now, select these both layers, and press Ctrl plus D, and duplicate this layers, 4 times. Now, select these two layers, and move this bar to 10th frame. Just like that. Now, move this time indicator bar to 18th frame. And select these logo 2 and solid 2 layer, and move it to 18th frame. Move this time indicator bar to 105 seconds, and moves these selected layers to this time point. Again move this time indicator bar to 129 seconds. And moves these selected layers to this time point. Just like that. Now, again duplicate this logo layer. And rename it to main logo. And move its spar to somewhat here. Cool. Now, click on this solid layer 1, and go to effects and presets, and search for CC Mr. Mercury. And drag it to the solid 1 layer. Set radius X and radius Y to 1%. Now, move this time indicator bar to 10th frame. And click on this stopwatch of producer to create keyframe. Also, click on this layer, and press U to open up keyframes. Now change its producer value to 901. And 755. Now, move this time indicator to this time point. And set its producer value to 973. and 447. 
Again move this time indicator to this point. And set its value to 557. Now set its direction to plus 97 degree. Velocity to 0 0.3. Also move this time indicator bar to 10th frame. And click on this stopwatch, and create keyframe of it. Now move this time indicator bar to 11th frame. And set its value to 0.2. Now, move this time indicator bar to somewhat at this time point. And change its value 0.4. Now, set longevity to 1.5. Now, set gravity to 0.5. Move this time indicator bar to 201 seconds, and click on this stopwatch. Also move this time indicator bar to this time point. And set its gravity to 1.0. Now set resistance to 0 0.10. Extra to 2. Also set its animation to fractal explosive. Now, move this time indicator to 0 0.23 seconds. And click on this stopwatch of blob birth size, and set its value to 0 0.30. Again. Move this time indicator bar to 312 seconds. And set its value to 0.50. Now, click on this solid layer 2. And drag this effect to this solid layer 2. Set radius x to 2. Move this time indicator bar to 018 seconds. And click on stopwatch of this producer and set its value to 952 and 792. Now move this time indicator on 3 o'clock seconds and set it to 1008 and 515. Now, move this to 319 seconds and click on stopwatch of this birth rate and create keyframe. Again move this time indicator bar to 419 seconds, and set value to 0. Move this bar to 1 o'clock seconds, and click on this stopwatch of gravity, and set it to 0 0.5. Now move this bar on 403 seconds. And set its value to 1. Resistance to 1. Move indicator bar to 104. And click on this stopwatch of blob birth size, and set value to 0 0.30. Again, move this time indicator bar on 414 seconds. and set its value to 0 0.50. Now, click on this solid layer 3, and drag this effect to this solid layer. Move this time indicator bar to 105, and click on stopwatch of this radius X, and set value to 10. Again, move time indicator on 311 seconds. and set value to 40. Again move this bar on 105 seconds, and click on this stopwatch to create keyframe, and change this value to 755. Now, move this bar to this time point, and set value to 540. Move this bar on 105 seconds. 
and click on stopwatch of this velocity and set it to 0.3. Now, move this bar to one frame forward and set value to 0.2. Now, move this time indicator bar to 226 and set value to 1. Again, move this bar to 318 seconds and click on this stopwatch of birth rate and create keyframe. Again, move this bar to 412 seconds and set its value to 0. Now, move this time indicator bar to 226 seconds and click on stopwatch of this gravity and set its value to 0.5 again move this bar on 326 seconds and set its value to 1 resistance to 0.10 move this time indicator bar to 118 seconds and click on stopwatch of this blob birth size and set value to 0.30 again move this bar to 407 seconds and set its value to 0.50 click on this solid layer 4 and drag this effect to this solid layer 4 now move this time indicator bar to 129 seconds and click on stopwatch of this radius X and create keyframe. Again move this bar to 326 seconds and set value to 87. Again move this time indicator bar to 129 seconds and click on stopwatch of this radius Y and create keyframe. And move this bar to 326 seconds and set its value to 30. Bring this bar on 129 seconds and click on stopwatch of this producer and set value to 920 and 757. Move this bar to 223 seconds and set value to 1093.8 and 528.2. Again, move it to 327 frames and set it to 960 and 375. Now, move this bar indicator to 223 seconds and click on stopwatch of this birth rate. Now move it to 416 seconds and set value to 0. Now, move this bar to 209 seconds and click stopwatch of gravity and set its value to 0.5 now move this bar to 428 and set value to 1 resistance to 0.50 now go to 201 seconds and click stopwatch of blob birth size and set value to 0.10 again move it to 417 seconds and set it to 4.0 cool now click on this logo one layer and enable this fill effect let's set its color to white click on logo 2 layer Enable this fill effect and set its color to blue. Click on this logo 3 layer and set its color to yellow. Remember, you can choose any color combination you like. Now, right click and create new solid layer. Let's rename it. Cool. Go to effects and presets and drag this effect on this layer. Set radius X to 30. Radius Y to 24. Producer to 1082. And 561. Velocity to 4. Also, move this time indicator bar to 129 seconds, and move this bar to here. 
Now move this bar to 127 seconds, and click stopwatch of this birth rate. Now move this bar to 202 seconds, and set its value to 0. Longevity to 1.7. Gravity to minus 1. Resistance to 1. Also, change animation to twirl. Set blob birth size to 0.02. And set blob death size to 0.07. Now go to effects and presets, and search for fill, and drag it to this layer. Choose color. Here, I'll be using yellow color. You are free to choose any color you like. Now search for echo, and drag it to this layer. Set its echo time to minus 0.020. And set echo operator to maximum. Now search for turbulent displace. And drag it to this layer. Set its displacement to twist. Amount to 31. Size to 30. Cool. Now let's animate our text. Now click on this main logo layer tab. Right click, and create new solid layer. And place it below this text layer. Now select pen tool. Now, we'll create path on it. Draw text path on this solid layer. Now, set its track mat to alpha mat. Go to effects and presets, and search for stroke effect. And drag it to this solid layer. Enable all masks. Set brush size, to fill completely on text layer. Now, move this time indicator bar to somewhat here. Click stopwatch of this end, and create keyframe. Move one second forward. And create new keyframe. And now on first keyframe, set its value to zero. Cool. Let's adjust animation, on splash layer. Click on this layer. And change producer value to 1028. And direction to 175 degree. Also, click on this layer, and press U, to open keyframes. And just move this keyframes a little. Now lastly, move this time indicator to somewhat here. Now select these layer. Go to edit, and select split layers. Now delete this. Also make sure, to change this logo layer track mat to none. Cool. Let's preview this. Awesome. So, 
Here we have created an awesome liquid logo animation inside After Effects. Extract this template. And open this project file. Here, all layers are organized properly, only you have to do is, double click on this logo layer. And drag your logo, and place it here. That's it. All effects will apply on it easily. If this tutorial helped you, press the like button, and subscribe for more new contents every week. See you in next tutorial, stay tuned.